Hello? Me again. We're both on, Nan. What's up? That's it for now. Keep us posted. Talk to you soon. Une entrée, s'il vous plaît. Avec les dents tachées de sang. Ne dis pas ça, ça me fait peur. T'es sûr Non, mais l'absence du monstre ne prouve pas qu'il n'existe pas. Va voir. Euh, non merci. Je préfère ne pas savoir. Oh, que tu es lâche. Je suis pas lâche. Eh ben, ben qu'est-ce qu'on fait ce soir On cherche des ovnis. I have no idea what this is, but after everything I went through to get here, I'm taking it.
Bonjour, Mademoiselle Retons. And she returns with a bottle of Mouton Forte, 1968. Oh la la, you did it. So, I take this and give you this. Take it. You have earned it. Thanks. What else tickles the fancy? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. The dials on this thing move. Looks like I should type a message using my own keyboard. Rouge blanc, rouge bleu, rouge. Looks like French to me. I wonder if the symbols on these discs have something to do with the dials on the M380 decoder that Noisette Tornade used.
Hey, Joe. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Someone attached an explosive device to the door to Minette's studio. Someone booby-trapped her door? Did it go off? No, thanks to me. Do you have any idea who did it? Well, Minette's assistant, Heather McKay, wasn't anywhere around when I discovered it. Could she have been trying to get back at Minette for something? Well, I'm pretty sure she sent Minette at least one threatening letter. I haven't gotten around to asking her about it. Well, if and when you do, you'd better be careful. Yeah, or you might find something attached to your door. That's it for now. Au revoir. Same here. Wonder why this indentation is here. How can I unlock this? Wow! So that's what Noisette stole during the war. Stained glass. If you are reading this, it means that I am dead and that you have discovered my secret. Yes, the rumors were correct. With the help of Hans von Schwesterkrank, I took the stained glass you see in front of you and hid it, not for personal gain, but so these exquisite pieces of art would not be lost to the dangers of war. I was not a traitor, nor was Hans. He helped me because he knew it was the right thing to do. But why, you are asking, why when the war ended did I not return them? Why did I not even admit taking them? At first it was because I was angry, after all that I had done for my country, when my friendship with Hans was discovered, people turned against me and accused me of terrible things. I wanted to hurt the people of Paris the way they were hurting me, so I said nothing about the stained glass. Then, when at long last I was deemed innocent, my anger subsided, but fear took its place. I was afraid that if I reveal what I had done, the accusations would start up again, and people would once again call me a criminal and question my motives and assail my character, and it would have been too much to bear. Hans had gone back to Germany, and despite his promises to the contrary, I knew I would never see him again. Like everyone else, I just wanted to get on with what was left of my life, so again I said nothing. And gradually time passed, and Paris healed, and I healed. Yet the right time for telling the world my secret never seemed to come. And now I am director of public works, a job I hold not only because I love this city, but because I wanted to make sure that someone, you, would be able to eventually find what I hid. Please make sure these pieces make a safe return to the world above. When you see them as they were meant to be seen, with sunlight streaming through their panes, interrupting the darkness with color and meaning and joy. Only then will you truly understand why I did what I did a lifetime ago. N.T. X-I-V-I-I-I -I -I.
Uh-oh, the door locked behind me, and nobody knows I'm down here. Not good. <laughs> French again. French numbers. Well, 
Does the dress work? It does indeed. Yeah, yeah! What about when I whispered? And when I turned my back? Could you hear what I said then? Gonza, I could hear everything. With this dress, we will be able to hear every word that is spoken within 10 meters of the First Lady. And what we hear, what we sell, will make us the wealthiest spies on the planet. <laughs> hey! Hey! I made you the dress, so how about paying me? After the First Lady takes possession, that is our deal. Look, I put up with the dead flowers, the letters, the paint, the idiotic phone calls. I put up with all your stupid threats for months. I deserve to get paid now. Those weren't threats. Those were incentives meant to keep you on track. And they obviously worked. You'll get your money when she gets the dress. Let's go, Gunther. But they're picking it up for her tomorrow. What difference does it make whether you pay me now or 24 hours from now? Oh my gosh, it sounds like Manette made that dress for the First Lady to be some kind of bugging device. I've got to get it out of here and take it to the police. Where did you come from? You've been hiding in here, eavesdropping. You heard everything, didn't you? Not everything, but enough to know that thanks to you, those two guys intend to use this dress to bug the World Summit. I knew there was something sneaky about you the minute you walked into my office. I should have tossed you out on the spot and told Amy Grunhild to stuff it. Well, newsflash, sister. I am about to knock your nosy little block off. Hey! Yeah. I'm going to pummel you into oblivion, Miss Nosy. Eat go! Kila! Oh! Hita! Shaza! Hope you're a good loser, because you are going down. He does! Oh. You're starting to look a little tired there. Oh, so you think you can block me, eh? Issa! Issa! Huh. Shaza! Ow! Your goose is cooked. He does. Arms starting to feel a little weak. Where did you learn to block like that? Issa, Issa. I fought imaginary elves that were stronger than you. Killa! Hey! Issa! Issa! Hey! Ha! Sa! I'm getting kind of tired, I think. Might as well give up, Minette. Hey! Kila! Ow! I can't believe it. You never threw a single punch, yet you beat me. Life is so unfair. And so horribly unrude. Oh my gosh.
And there it was, the real reason why Minette wore that mask. A tattoo, which she later admitted she had gotten on the spur of the moment and which she instantly regretted, calling it the stupidest thing she'd ever done in her life. She also admitted that the reason she had fallen so far behind schedule was because Ernst and Gunther Schmeck, former members of the East German secret police, were paying her a small fortune to create a dress for the First Lady out of fabric they supplied. This fabric was infused with microscopic circuitry that would allow them to eavesdrop on the world summit. All three have been arrested, which means Manette will probably be designing her next collection from a jail cell. And she doesn't care for stripes. As for the beautiful pieces of stained glass that Noisette Tornade hid away years ago, they have been returned to the churches they came from. And Noisette is finally getting the respect and gratitude she was denied after the war. Not that she was perfect, but it seems to me her biggest fault wasn't doing too little for her beloved city of Paris, but trying to do too much. And as if busting a pair of spies and recovering lost treasure weren't enough, Heather took over Manette's spring show and had me, me, be one of the models. Believe it or not, I managed to make it all the way down the runway and back without falling flat on my face. Of course, I still have no idea what I was wearing, but I can tell you one thing. It was rude. Very rude. Time to dig out the tank top, stuck up on sunscreen, and slip on those sandals, because for my next adventure, I'm off to Hawaii, to the big island to be exact, where I'll be helping out this quirky entomologist, that's a bug scientist, by the way, who has just made a disturbing discovery. In fact, my working vacation quickly turns into a series of disturbing discoveries including one that involves a legendary monster with a nasty temper and an appetite for revenge. So come with me to this island paradise and help me solve the mystery surrounding the creature of Kapu Cave. Until then, aloha. Hey.